first video in the electromagnetics topic and here we're looking at circuits and symbols. So now what's it, this mean? Well circuit symbols are used to draw diagrams of electrical circuits. Okay, it's, it's a common way we have to make sure that everybody does the same thing so all our circuits are identifiable and we use straight lines to show the wires. Now what you need to know now is a few of the more common circuit symbols that are used. Let's make a start. So this is the symbol here for a switch. So this is a switch. So this is a switch in the open position. If you that is down touching this circle here, that's the closed position. So a symbol for switch switch is shown in the open position. What I just should do is just you copy down these drawings you need to become familiar with them so it's important you do actually copy down the drawings of each individual what we call component. A switch is a component in a circuit. You'll see other components in a moment but it's important, it's important to actually start learning what these symbols look like and how you can use them in building electrical circuits. So number two we've got now this is the symbol for a cell. Now this is really important you don't confuse this with a battery. This is not what we call a battery. This is a cell. It's a single unit and it's a cell. Long part there. This is the positive side. This is the negative side. Now a battery is when you join cells together. So this is the symbol for a battery. So here we've got two cells joined together. You might have three cells or four cells joined together. Cells joined together make up what we call a battery. This is the symbol for a lamp or a bulb. A light bulb or a lamp and it's a circle with a cross in it. There are other symbols we used to use but this is one we use now. This is a modern symbol for a lamp or a bulb. Now this is a symbol for um, an instrument that measures current in a circuit. We'll discuss current in a later video and this one is the amateur that measures the current in a circuit compared to this one here which is a voltmeter. The voltmeter measures the voltage in a circuit so they're pretty straightforward. This is a symbol for a resistor. What the resistor does, it resists the flow of electrons. So electricity is a flow of electrons, a resistor resists the flow of them and that's the symbol there, a very easy symbol there for a resistor. Now we also have what's called a variable resistor. It's like a resistor but you can actually change the resistance value. So it's a rectangle, go back one, sorry, go back one. It's a rectangle with this arrow going through it. You may have one of these at home um, controlling a light. So dimmer switch is an example of a variable resistor. And lastly, this is the symbol here for a motor. Now an electric motor is um, a component that changes electrical energy into what we call movement energy or kinetic energy. So if you've got a hair dryer or a food mixer that might have in it an electric motor. Right, so those are the components. Now suppose you want to draw a circuit. Now we've got a circuit here and we've got a switch, we've got a, a lamp, we've got a battery over here. Now this is what you would see. If you built it, this is what you would see. But this is not how we draw it. Okay, we draw it using the correct symbols. So this, let's just go back a second, we had a a cell, there's a cell there, and there's a symbol for the cell. We had um, a switch, and there's a symbol there for the switch. This is in the open position, so at the moment the light wouldn't go on because the switch is open. And this is a symbol here for, you guessed it, the lamp or the bulb. Okay. Now notice when we draw a circuit diagram we need to use correct symbols and also we join them with straight lines. The straight lines represent the wires. So it's really 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 important that you use straight lines like this when you're building a circuit. Okay, So wires are shown by straight lines. So remember when drawing a circuit diagram first of all always use the correct symbols for the components here we have the correct symbol for a cell, here's a correct symbol for a bulb, and there's a correct symbol for the switch. And also use straight lines for the wires that you'll use to join 
the components together. So you can see here, that's what you would see if you're building the circuit. The wires are, as you guessed, they're bent. When you draw the circuit diagram, you must use straight lines. OK? Right, a couple of key words for you. First of all, electric component. These are items such as lamps, resistors that are used in the circuit. So we looked at symbols for a number of components, um, cells, batteries, ammeters, voltmeters, they're all components. Electric circuit shows components and wires through which electrons will flow. So we drew a second ago a circuit diagram showing a cell, a bulb and a switch. Okay, so that's electric circuit and also connected by straight lines which are wires. So I suggest you copy down these voc these are keywords onto your vocab sheet and learn them. Well, that's the end of this Key Stage 3 science video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, why not visit my website at www.keystage3sciencecourses.com. There you'll find over 120 science videos you can subscribe to. So once again, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.